Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Merry Christmas this Eve. This is a warning. Do not try this at home. We are professionals. Trade professionals. So, welcome to West Branch, Michigan, the Bigfoot capital of Michigan. Uh, and today we're going to show you how we hunt and trap Bigfoot up here. You might know Bigfoot as Sasquatch, Yeti, Skunk Ape, or a Yowie if you're a viewer in Australia. <laughs> We have identified a well-traveled Bigfoot corridor here on our family's property in northern Michigan. And we have set up trail cameras and have patterned what appears to be the dominant male in our area. We're setting a trap and then we're going to sit and wait in our Bigfoot blind over here. There's the blind. And uh, hopefully, if we're lucky, you get to see us bag a big one. <laughs> bag a big one. All right. So once you find and pattern a squatch, the first thing you need to do is dig a deep hole. So uh, it's winter here, the ground's frozen, we can't dig, but we have a real nice deep hole here already that's naturally occurring. Right along the edge of this Bigfoot corridor. Oh, it's windy. Yeah, hit the head with a snowball. <laughs> Probably thrown by a Bigfoot. Once you have your deep hole, you need to throw in some ashes so you can burn a fire and let it burn down to ashes or scoop some out of your campfire and throw them down there. But ashes are essential. There must be ashes in the bottom of your hole. Yep. We've noticed that from, from our research with Bigfoot, they seem to like the ash holes for dust bathing. Um, Kind of like a chicken, keeps the mites and you know skin parasites down to a minimum for the squatch. So the ash hole is essential. <laughs> All right. So once you have a nice deep ash hole, then you need to get peas. Peas are the perfect bait for Bigfoot. Yeah. I can't the more explain the better. why. The more the better. They can be frozen or canned. Probably fresh would work too, although we haven't tried it in the summer. Yeah, but normally this is the type time of year we're hunt, hunting and trapping squatch, so um, we had some frozen peas, just a little bit, um, all we could find at the time. So the kids line the hole with some peas. We're making do with what we got. Yep. We, but we've got this guy pretty well patterned, so I'm confident that we'll have a squatch sighting here. When you see the squatch approaching, get ready, because when the squatch goes to take a pee, you kick him in the asshole. <laughs> we hope you and your family enjoyed having a little bit of fun with us on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, everybody. Whatever you celebrate, we hope that you're all warm, healthy, and safe.